11 years and one week removed from his last PGA Tour victory, Michael Bradley. If this goes, he's your champion. Golf is a fickle game. One day you're among the best in the world, and the next, you've fallen into an abyss of obscurity. I think I was 42 when I won in 09. Not that that's old, but from, from a golf standpoint, from a tour player standpoint, you're, it's getting up there a little bit. Talking about shaking off the rust, exercising the demons, but it's Michael Bradley who will hold the trophy. It was kind of a neat, neat accomplishment, and it you know, kind of gives you that little extra confidence that, you know what, I can still be competitive out here. It had been 11 long, injury-riddled years since Michael Bradley had hoisted a trophy above his head. He was on the verge of stardom in 1998 when the then 31-year-old captured victory against an elite field at Durant. It was my second win. You know, it was a cool experience. You always talk about trying to back up that first win. You know, I shot a couple under, made a good up and down on 18, and made a six-footer for the win to beat Lily Mayfair and John Houston. It was a special win. With 11 top 10s, including two wins in three seasons, Bradley ranked among the top 50 players in the world. You always hear players saying, well, you know, I, I knew I belonged out there. Until you actually do it, there's a big difference. And once I did that and, and, and had a good year, I was like, you know what? I, can, you know, I might not be a, a world beater and a world-class player, but you know what? I can play out here and be successful. But just before earning his second PGA Tour win, Bradley received devastating news. He needed back surgery to repair a herniated disc. His once promising season and possibly golf career came to a crashing halt. Over the next 10 years, Bradley struggled to find his game, never finishing among the top 125 on the PGA Tour. When he stopped playing in 2001, it felt like someone had died. It was terrible. Although Bradley viewed this time differently, he never let golf define his life. There's always times where you're like, you know, it's not worth it anymore. Golf's what I do, it's not who I am. My family's the most important thing to me. I had a little time there where my daughter was kind of growing up and I wanted to be home and I wanted to be there. We're competitors. It's basically all I've done my whole life. After proving to himself he still belonged with his 09 victory in Puerto Rico, Bradley returned to Trump International Golf Club last season, eyeing his fourth trip to the winner's circle. All that was left was a seemingly simple tap-in for victory. That's painful to watch. A playoff ensued with Troy Madison. Ironically, it was Madison who did the unthinkable. Unbelievable. Truly unbelievable. you got to be kidding me. But it turns out to be the fourth ever win for Michael Bradley. Even if he wouldn't have won the last couple years, we were fine. Everything was great. We couldn't have been any happier. But having the two wins in Puerto Rico and you know, doing what we've done the last couple years have just been obviously icing on the cake and the cherry and the sprinkles. <laughs> I feel very fortunate to have been out here as long as I have. It's afforded me and my family a lifestyle that I probably wouldn't have had if I would have, you know, had a nine to five job somewhere. So, you know, I've, I've, been, I've been blessed. This run Bradley started in 1988 has had plenty of highs and lows, but his mindset has never wavered. I feel like I can win. I don't feel like I need all the stars to align to do it. I'm going to tee it up you know, on Thursday and put the tee in the ground and go, and, and I'm going to try to shoot as low as I can. Until I feel like I can't do that anymore, I'll keep plugging along.